Welcome to the scrapbook tour. If you could kindly keep your arms and legs inside the video for the duration of the video, that would be greatly appreciated. No flash photography, please. Enjoy the tour. Hi friends, it is Sam and today is the best. And <laughs> today is the best. Today is the best. <laughs> I am here to show you my first completed scrapbook. Now I already filmed this video once and the audio was bad because I had my lapel mic on and I kept brushing it with my scrapbook and my hair kept going against it. My shawl fell off and I sat on my microphone. It was awful. Also, the picture was bad. It was just a bad, bad video. And you don't deserve terrible content from me. So here I am today to show you my scrapbook in nice lighting with good audio. If you've been here a while, you may remember that I got a scrapbook for Christmas. I can exclusively tell you it was four pounds in the range and uh, it came looking like this with a little ribbon detail, but I transformed it to look like this. You may recognize the letters on the front from my first ever intro, if you remember that. Do you remember that? That was a long time ago. I forgive you if you don't remember that. The scrapbook started off about yay thick. But since its completion, it's yay thick. And that's with the ribbon holding it closed. And I realized when I opened my new scrapbook that it doesn't have a ribbon. So that's an issue. But if you open this, it just pings. I wanted to start off the scrapbook with some inspirational pages. So we went right in with the body positive pages. We got like a not chubby girl here, but she's eating fries and fries are amazing. And you should definitely eat fries if you want fries. We got a postcard that I got in the Victoria and Albert Museum about 10 years ago. It's just been sitting in a drawer. And I wrote in there, another woman's beauty is not the absence of your own. Because I feel like that's something we need to remind ourselves every time we see a banging babe walk down the street. These next pages are vegan friendly slash travel pages. Uh, they kind of fit a theme because when I went to these places, obviously I had to eat and I'm vegan and you know, I don't know, it kind it goes. Like the theme, it has a theme. Can you see the theme? There's like places I've traveled to that are vegan friendly, plus a little quote. We've got a Dean Farm Trust leaflet that I got when I went to the animal sanctuary with my vegan friends and I chopped that up and put that in here. And then we've got a fast food card that came with my food when I went to Liverpool and got frost burgers. A stamp from my friend on the Isle of Man. And my tickets from when Jess and I went to Chessington. And I also wrote in there, wherever you go, go with all your heart. And that's pretty much all the writing I did in here. Um, I need to do more scripty stuff in my other scrapbook. I think it looks really cute. The next two pages I'm really proud of. They're like some of my favorite pages in the whole scrapbook because they're full of friends. On this page, we've got Pride. So this photo was taken for free in Tesco in Pride 2018. Uh, this is my friend Josh and me. And we both got one, but Josh's face is a bit put off in this one so I had it so that he had a nice photo of himself and then we've got my pride wristband from 2019 and another one I got at pride 2019 because they are the sort of wristbands that you tighten and then you can't untighten them sort of like zip ties I couldn't get them back on my wrist once I'd taken them off so I thought I might as well cut them and put them in my scrapbook and on the other page we've got a page dedicated to my best friend. Uh, this is the boarding pass that I had to print off when I first went to visit her on the Isle of Man. 
this is a little card she bought me several years ago that have been blue tacked to my mirror but I thought hey it will look cute on my Danny page and this is a Yuletide present she stitched it herself it's got my name on the tag it's a cat in a box and it's a little card and it's got a cute little message from her in it this next spread was a bit of an experiment and I don't like it that much I don't think if I didn't tell you what it was, you'd know what it was, unless you were asexual and very familiar with that flag. Uh, but I tried, and maybe it's something I'll try again, but maybe not. <laughs> it's an Ace Pride spread. It's supposed to resemble the flag. So we've got black, gray, white, purple, but I think the gray and the white just kind of blend together a bit. I think I needed to go a bit bolder with the grey maybe, make it a bit darker, but I tried and it's not hideous. And the same goes for these next two pages. This spread is a small gallery of art I never finished. And looking at it now, I don't know why I didn't finish it, but as I was painting these pictures, I just didn't like them, so I thought I'm not going to finish them. And it took several years for me to find them again and be like hey these paintings are really good but by that point I had no motivation to finish them so I stuck them in this scrapbook and here they are we've got Belle coming down the stairs in her ball gown and we've got Anastasia with the ghost of her dad they're backed by some who gives a crap toilet paper paper that the toilet paper comes in when you order the who gives a crap toilet paper uh, because it's very cute paper and it makes great backing on your scrapbook so this features in most of the scrapbook pages but I think I went a bit mad with the colour scheme you've got like brown, red, purple, more brown, green like what are you doing Sam? you should have taken your time with these pages you could have made them great the same cannot be said for the next spread the next spread is based on the bible harry potter <laughs> with some fantastic beasts thrown in i backed it with some hogwarts wrapping paper that i got for christmas from my dear dear friends i got some stickers from samantha kumal there i got a sticker that i got when i went to bin planet in 2018 and they were doing like a special day because of the either Chamber of Secrets or Philosopher's Stone special edition release. I've got lots of Voldemort stickers because I've got this um, little sticker kit with Voldemort's wand and Nagini in it and so you're gonna see quite a lot of Voldemort in the coming pages. We also got a clothes tag there and we've got a lot of Fantastic Beasts pictures because last year I had a Fantastic Beasts wall calendar and lucky for me my mum had the harry potter one so the next pages feature many a harry potter picture uh, this page is dedicated to my husband and then this page is like an unintentional gryffindor versus slytherin page i like did not intend that at all but i think it's quite cool that it came out that way and we've got some Harry Potter ribbon that came with some pajamas my dad got me for Christmas. More art pages next and the first one is a drawing I did for yet another project I abandoned. Um, I started up a mither? No it wasn't mither, what was it? So I can't even remember, that's how much I care. I started up like a writing account and I started writing a novel on there so i did a book cover for it and i have since abandoned said novel i don't think i got three chapters in so i cut up the book cover and decorated it with some matching ribbon i think it looks really cute and on the other page we've got some exclusive drawings by the one and only amy savage a wonderful tattoo artist based in canterbury my sister got this tattoo of our dog and Amy was kind enough to let us keep the sketch and the stencil 
So Jess gave me them to put in my scrapbook. And she also got some Snoopy pajamas. So that's where this ribbon and this tag are from. I thought it looked cute. Up next is a Star Wars spread. Because Star Wars is great. Although I have mixed feelings about the final Star Wars film. But let's not get into that. Um, instead, let's look at these wonderful pictures of Star Wars characters. It's mostly the new Star Wars characters, but we've got a bit of Padme thrown in, young Luke, and I've got a cinema ticket from The Last Jedi in 2017, because I'm a dork and I keep cinema stubs. We got a page dedicated to photos of my face, because why not? Um, look at me now, it's probably hard to believe that these are me, but um, this is me and my sister several, several, several years ago. I'm talking like 10 plus years ago. We got a YouTube business card that I made. I printed like 40 and they still live in my purse. I never gave one out because no one asked about my YouTube channel. So that's my first YouTube picture logo. DP, you know. And then we've got the photo I took for my driving license. <laughs> Look how happy she is. I'm Sam. And some donuts off a greetings card because they're cute. And on the other side, we've got a tattoo-y sort of page. This is a business card for one of the shops that I often frequent, Two Rivers Tattoo in Penarth. If you're interested in getting a tattoo and you're in Wales, go there, Christian's lovely. A business card from my other tattoo artist that I go to regularly, Sadie Glover. A big, big sticker of Manami Frost because she is everything. She's so beautiful. And we got a tattoo of a donkey that I cut out of a tattoo magazine because if my last scrapbook tells you anything, it's that I love donkeys and I couldn't not put this tattoo on a stranger's body in my scrapbook. I really like the next two pages. They are unrelated to each other, but they look very nice. The first of these two pages is this page based on children's films. We've got a little card topper of Olaf, a Sally that came free with a commission we got from an Instagram artist, Dora, Grinchy, Mary, Minions, a Toy Story 4 cinema ticket because Liverpool's cinema does orange tickets and how cool is that? All we get is like receipt paper. <sighs> and on the other page we've got a climate change slash save the planet slash love the planet page because you know I'm very passionate about the planet. We've got the word plant-based because that's what will save the planet. Go vegan. Um, <laughs> monkeys, piggy, a cute little house in a cute little land, vegan propaganda. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help it. It's who I am. And this cute, cute, cute little card that says, what are you doing? Just trying to make the world a nicer place which is what I'm doing, okay? By being obsessed with my food bin. So from these next two pages, try and guess who my favorite frozen character is. Hmm, who could it be? Um, this here is a birthday card that I got from my mummy. And these bits were from a cereal box that we got in December. If you were here for Vlogmas, you may remember that we got two boxes of frozen cereal because I like Anna and my sister likes Elsa. So we got two boxes of the cereal. The cereal wasn't that great. We've still got some in the cupboard because we don't want to eat it. But we're going to eat it because we don't do waste. I also got some frozen stickers and some Anna card toppers to embellish my frozen pages. These next pages look like they're done by a toddler. But they contain things that I like. So I don't hate them, but I don't love them. 
Laura K. We've got Princesses and Harry Potter slash Fantastic Beasts. Over here we've got a sparkly, sparkly birthday card and a bell bookmark that came from a cereal box and lots more Frozen stickers. And over here, we've got the Harry Potter stuff. I stan Jude Law as Dumbledore. I'm sorry if you don't, but I think he's brilliant. Now, as a teenager, I had a pretty extensive Naruto phase. Um, comment below who your favorite Naruto character is. Mine was Gara. But I had these little pictures stuck to my bedroom door and I thought it was high time I took them down. But instead of throwing them away, I made a sweet scrapbook page out of them. Along with a Kakashi car air freshener that I had hung in my room for literally years. Um, it still smells a bit vanilla -y. Then we've got the start of like a string thing that I've done throughout my scrapbook. It's quite a pain in the butt to hold down sometimes but I love it very much and it feels really nice and it just looks great. And on the other page I started to get a bit experimental. Uh, this is some more of the Anna cereal box. I got some washi tape packaging, some washi tape, an owl car topper and this was when I started looking up scrapbooking on Instagram and I found this amazing account that just inspired the crap out of me and I was like hey I need to put I need to be more mindful when it comes to scrapbooking. Some of my pages look like utter garbage compared to this girl's. Might be a girl, might be a boy, I'm not sure. Um, sorry, don't assume gender. But yeah, I was mad inspired and I quite like how that page came out. But the idea obviously wasn't reinforced enough because the next pages are a state. Um, I like what's on them. I just don't like how I did it. We've got lots of unicorns. Um, here we've got some Christmas cards given to me by my dad. This one's got googly eyes. I love this tattoo from the same tattoo book that my donkey one was in. And I had to, I had to put it somewhere in the scrapbook. And hey, I had a lot of unicorn content, so why not throw it on some ugly, thrown up confetti glitter pages? However, Upon making these hideous, hideous unicorn pages, I obviously got my act together because I love the next spread I did. This is a Batman spread. My Batman craze has gone on for many, many years and unlike my Naruto phase, is still going. So I've had lots of Batman greeting cards over the years and I've even still got a Dark Knight Rises cinema stuff from 2012 that I've stuck in here. I got this penguin gift tag for Christmas and I'm sure if you're a Batman fan you'll know why it's there. And I just think these pages look great. I'm very proud of them. <laughs> look at the rope I gave Batman. I'm so creative. I also love the next spread very very much. It's more animals and veganism and love and sunshine um we've mentioned before that i love donkeys one of my work colleagues got me a christmas card with donkeys on it so it had to go in the scrapbook that's a christmas card from my best friend from a couple of years ago it's a little turkey that says i love vegans on it and we've got some apple stickers and a postcard of a cow that my sister gave me years ago. I can't even remember where from or why. I've just kept it because I love cows and I love my sister and I thought it would be cute to put in my scrapbook. Hi Dre. The next spread is kind of random, I guess, slash declarations of love, like Valentine's card for my mum with a little mouse on it my amazing Christmas card for my sister that she got me last year, a little sticker that came on the envelope of my Christmas card from my dear dear friends Louise and Ian, a drawing that a school friend did for me on like my 17th birthday. 
that I've kept in a drawer for 10 years um, with my favourite Pokemon, Jolteon, next to me. And I love it very much. And we got another free print from the artist that we got commission from because we got another commission from her. She's wonderful. I'll link her Instagram below. And we've also got a little flap. This came with like something Jess bought on Depop and I really liked the fish washi tape. So I stuck a picture of Anna under it as a little flap because who doesn't love a flap book? And because my ego needs regular feeding, I did a spread with messages of love from my loved ones. I've got a little card from friends here that opens like a flap because flap books. A card from my best friend, lots of confetti and just general affection. It's great to remind yourself that people love you. Next up, we got some quite disappointing pages, if I'm honest. Um, I tried, I, I had a vision and I thought that it would look so, so cute, but it so, so didn't. Uh, <laughs> I just messed around with fabric from my scrap fabric and it came out like this. This one, this page is based on flowers and I made a little flower out of the petals I used from my body positive mood board. And then on the other side, we've got like a sort of fabric mosaic that could have looked cute if I'd had more patience with it. I should have done smaller scraps of fabric and paid proper attention to what I was doing, but I got impatient and I just stuck fabric to a page and that's what happened. Up next we got two separate pages yet again. This page contains sister love. This was the Princess Aurora card that was a few pages back, the really sparkly one. It was from my sister and I thought the inside was really cute too and she wrote some lovely stuff and it's got cute little words there. So I kept it intact along with some lovely ribbon and some hugs and kisses washi tape and a picture of sisters Anna and Elsa which I think tied together the page quite nicely and once again inspired by the Instagram scrapbooker I did a blue page uh it features a doily with some Peter Rabbit fabric inside a Christmas card some other blue bits it's underwhelming but I tried and perhaps I'll try again with a different colour. There is another colourful spread in here somewhere, but can be improved upon. Next up, we've got a card from my mummy. I believe it's a Valentine's card, decorated with an angel topper, the Grinch, some stickers and some scrap card, which is cute. I just kept it for the message and stuck some crap around it but I'm very but I'm very proud of its neighbour page which is an illumination page we've got minions the Lorax a Grinch sticker and I complimented it with some moomins and a Christmas card that my cousin got for me now I'm very proud of the next spread because I found myself very funny when I was doing it but it actually turned out really good basically my mum likes quintessentially British detective slash murder mysteries and I work in a place that disposes of TV magazines when they don't need them anymore so I take a few that would otherwise be thrown away and use them for my scrapbook so I got a plethora of said quintessentially British detective slash murder mystery show pictures. And here they are. These pages are dedicated to my mother. We got Father Brown. We got Midsummer Murders. We got Poirot. We got Vera. And we got some, some trim, some washi tape. I just think that the pages tie together so nicely and 
I really put some thought into the composition of these pages and they turned out really nice, I think. And of course, we can't go a whole scrapbook without dedicating a spread to my dog. Especially when we made a Vista print calendar of our dog uh, two years ago and kept the calendar. And now the pictures from the calendar grace the pages of my scrapbook, along with some Snoopy ribbon and some puppy stickers. There's Don Don's on a doily. Don Don's is sleeping. Don Don's has got his tongue out. Don Don's is everywhere and we love it. We got a page dedicated to film slash TV. We got some Five Feet Apart, which is a film I love very much and I need to read the book for. Uh, Mary Poppins, Henry Cavill's The Witcher. The best film in existence. Frozen, Toy Story, you name it, good films. And next to it is one of my favourite pages in the scrapbook. It's kind of music based and it's got pics from some concerts I went to as a youth, an interview with the gay legend John Barrowman, a Paramore ticket, a little flap because I've got a Yumi at 6 vinyl and this is for the digital download and I haven't yet used it and I thought maybe one day I might want to use it. So I used it as a flap, so I've still got the code underneath. A Tonight Alive guitar pick, some Barbie stickers. And I just think that this is another page that's really well put together and looks absolutely lovely. Next up are some superhero pages, backed by some lush packaging paper, which still smells divine. This is mostly Marvel pages, but we got a sprinkling of DC down the side. I've got the backing from the box from my Bucky Pop that I got for Christmas. We've got some MCU films, a bit of Logan, but I didn't wait for the glue to dry long enough. A bit of his face has come off. Oops a daisy. Now I was really proud of my inventive brain when it comes to this next page because I bought a magazine recently with plastic packaging and they print pictures on the plastic packaging so I thought I can stick it in my scrapbook instead of throwing it away and poisoning whales, I can do that. But I since found out that you can recycle the plastic packaging in supermarkets so if you get magazines with plastic packaging please take it to a big supermarket and recycle it because that's doable. But before I knew that I used this little plastic Harley Quinn in my scrapbook and I think it looks really cute especially with the pink washi tape and I backed it with fabric and some cute little things and across the page we've got another experimental page we've got an angel on a doily a yuletide card from my friend the backing for my Anna card toppers that I since used up and some poking I thought I'd try my hand again at doing a colour themed page. So this is what we came up with on the next page. We've got like a lush tag, the backing for the Barbie stickers that are in previous pages of this scrapbook, a little pink outfit, some Nintendo-y pink stuff, some Christmas paper. Um, it's just a bit chaotic really. And I need to work on my, uh, colour theme page skills. And across the page we've got some Nintendo characters, Sonic, Mario and Spyro. The next spread is more Nintendo-y stuff. We've got Geralt the Witcher with a, a little deer and a horse. I thought they kind of went with the theme. And then over the page, although I don't play Zelda, I think this was from Zelda, if not, Nintendo fans, feel free to attack me verbally. Um, yeah, I don't play it, but I thought the picture was really nice. So I backed it with some Peter Rabbit fabric and I decorated it with some Winnie the Pooh and some Frozen and an owl and I thought it looked very cute. Now this next page is inspired by two things. The first being a Christmas hamper that I got from a friend. She gave me a hamper with loads of vegan foods in it and there was like a little cardboard box with some mint chocolate buttons in. There were two buttons but they were like this big 
and I thought it was really cute so I kept that and I found a picture of a shopping basket in a magazine filled with fruits and veg and I thought it just looked nice. So based around these two things I did a page dedicated to food. Here it is, got a couple of tattoos from the tattoo mag, some donuts, uh, good omens because they're often eating apples right but they're by an apple tree here so that counts and then we got the watermelon flamingo ribbon behind and across the page we have more tattoo goodness two more tattoo studios i have visited in the past an Henri sticker because he is my hero and i love him so much a little squirrel and more barbie stickers just to tie it together a bit i think my pages are delightful here now who doesn't love dogs we had to have a dog spread in the scrapbook featuring Don Don's in the center because he doesn't want to be left out. We got some greeting cards in there. I really loved this Christmas card that my grandma gave me. These I believe are from a birthday card. These little Yorkies and wigs and glasses. I just, I love dogs. Dogs are so cute. But I also love cats. So I did a cat spread. And we've got my card from Ian, Louise and Luna. A Valentine's card from Jess whose message is spoiler across the page because I found it really funny on the back of this bit it says like sorry for my bad spelling and then you read the card on the other page and the spelling's really funny and we got a card from my stepmom sister featuring a dog but it's fine because it's adorable we got a little Pokemon page because I really liked this picture of Charizard and this picture of Ash and I thought let's make a Pokemon page but it came out like that <laughs> not my best page but also not my worst page I really like that picture of Charizard and like I said across the page we've got the Valentine's card from my sister with beautiful message in and some Frozen and another cat and it's very cute now for some reason I ended up with quite a lot of Ron Weasley photos so the next page is in honour of our ginger friend featuring some more squiggly wiggly string, fetuses and elderly Rupert Grin. And on the opposite page we got experimental again and I'm not sure if it was a successful experiment. I guess it's not hideous but there it is. This is the box that my Voldemort stickers and wand came in. And we got Sideways Mario and we got some Winnie the Pooh stickers. Cause why not? Winnie the Pooh and Voldemort go, right? I dedicated yet another page to snacks because if it's not gonna go mouldy in your scrapbook and you can stick it to a page, why not stick it to a page? We got some apple pie cookies up in here, some chocolate coin wrappings, a chai tea bag box because chai tea is my favourite tea and a Christmas pudding pug it says Bahan pug and I don't even like Christmas pudding but I just thought that was really cute and I love a pun now the next page is my favourite page in the whole scrapbook I love this page so much I want to rip it out and frame it but I'm not gonna because it's got something on the back of it but here it is it is dedicated to my nurse who takes my blood now and then and takes my mum's blood too and she is just the best and most beautiful nurse on the planet. She caters to my weird whims like she gave me a bravery award and she gave me a sticker when I asked for one and she let me take a selfie and she's just really funny, really nice and she makes you feel so comfortable. Get yourself a nurse that's as lovely as mine. We got more vegan slash planet friendly pages here. A box for some vegan chocolate cookies that were delightful that we got in Aldi. A little box that had a bar of soap in it and it's got a whale on it. It's really cute. 
the St. Peter's Hospice clothes tag because I love charity shopping, as I've mentioned before, and the little parking ticket because it's better than throwing it away because it's kind of plastic based and would take a while to break down in landfill. Next we got a Beatrix Potter page that was completely unintentional. There were some mushrooms at the bottom of an article about Beatrix Potter and I really like the pictures of the mushrooms. So I cut them out to put in my scrapbook but then I really liked the picture of Peter Rabbit as well so I stuck that in and then I thought well now that we've got Peter Rabbit and Beatrix Potter and her mushrooms on the page it only makes sense to just make it a Peter Rabbit page so I found some fabric and I stuck some Peter Rabbit fabric in and I made it all Peter Rabbit y. Opposite it is a page that showcases my scrapbook talent. I really like this page, it's quite simple. Um, we've got my favourite vegan galaxy here, um, some more cookie packaging, and Hamish, our boy Hamish. Hamish is in the scrapbook, of course he's in the scrapbook. He has to be in the scrapbook. Um, fun fact, I put him in the microwave for the first time the other day because I had backache. He enjoyed it. I did sit on him because of the backache, but he didn't mind. He was very warm and very comforting. Penultimate pages are some Barbara Brown appreciation pages. Of course, they did this absolutely fantastic hair colour on me. Well, Jess did. Jess, my sister, she manages Barbara Brown's salon, best salon, best hairdresser. So I dedicated some scrapbook pages to Barbara Brown's. I took some leaflets from the salon when I was there last. I found some cool hair picks and a hair mag. I got a Barbara Brown sticker and I slung it all together to make this delightful Barbara Brown spread. And finally, I thought that I'd end the scrapbook as I started it with some female power. So I threw a bit of Daisy Ridley on the page. I threw some naked babes. I got Megan Trainer, Tay Tay, RuPaul, Rita, Emma, all the babes. We got a girl power sticker. And over here, we've got some, some of the packaging from the Who Gives a Crap paper. And it says, we love fat rolls on it. And I thought that would be a really body positive thing to put in with my body positive pages. So I put that in there and I framed it with washi tape. So there we go, that was the scrapbook. Let me know what your favorite spreads were, what your favorite pages were, and if you want more scrapbook videos. And if you do enjoy these scrapbook videos, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss them. And I will see you next time with another video. Bye.